Back on the Good Morning Artesia radio show. So Jessica did a little research during the break, and you verified what... Because I, I asked the question. That was part of what we were asking Jeffrey. I was... Because, like I said, neither one of us have had children. Mm-hmm. Literally or otherwise. <laughs> and I was told that when the children, the, the first baby from the children, that belongs to grandma and grandpa. They, 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 that's their, they get to... Raise that child? Not, well, then it goes too far to raise it. But they, you know, you got to bring them over. They got to babysit. They got to take care of that child. You were telling me there's an actual scientific connection Yes. So when you are in utero, you're, uh, you already have all your eggs, already have all your eggs as a woman. Mm -hmm. So when your grandmother is pregnant with your mom, technically you're you're in there in your grandmother's belly in your mom, as in her, in her utero. It's just wild to think about like you being part, like think that's why. Like I had a huge, strong connection with my grandmother. Uh-huh. Um, I she was my person, and so I just I always wonder, like, I wonder if that's why. So there is science behind it. There is science yeah, behind but it. But I don't know if it's the first child. Like I wasn't the first grandchild. Yeah. But I was the first. But one. there was a connection. Yeah, there I was, was like connection. the sixth, and I know I was their favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what we've determined here. All right, Anywho. is this true? Is this true? Oh, okay. My wife says I only have two faults. I don't listen and something else. (laughs) Yes. That's true. Okay. Yes. All right. Day 12 without chocolate. Lost hearing in my left eye. Yes. Delirious. In other words. Yes. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Not for me. I don't even like candy. She doesn't like candy. Okay. A dog accepts you as the boss. No. A cat wants to see your resume. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's true. My cat's been missing for three days. Won't come. You weren't measuring up? I was. (laughs) (laughs) I won't be impressed with technology until I can download food. Oh, can you imagine? We'd be like a thousand pounds. (laughs) That is wild to think about. Yeah. Yuck. That could be a huge, like, three-hour conversation. Yeah. Th- there you go. It's is funny. this is this true? <laughs> Some people call me crazy. I prefer happy with a twist. Okay. Yeah. So I have a public service announcement. Speaking okay. Speaking of downloading food. Yes. Artesia. Yes. Guess what? We do have DoorDash. I tell my friends that, and they're like, "What? We have DoorDash?" I'm like, mm-hmm. "Yeah." So just so you know, you can get Wendy's, <laughs> McDonald's, Subway, McAllister's. DoorDash also is not a chamber member. Also that, PSA. That's why we don't talk about it. Well, <laughs> just so you know. You know, I was... And neither are any of those other businesses that they dash. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days, though, we need to get them. I, I remember seeing there was a story on the Babylon Bee, and I've quoted the Babylon Bee a lot. Uh, this, you, you all have heard of Dave Ramsey. Mm-hmm. Yes. He's the financial guru. Mm-hmm. The story on the bee was Dave Ramsey literally had a heart attack when he found out how much one family was spending on DoorDash. <laughs> oh, wait, it's not loading. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. Dave Ramsey suffers heart attack after learning how much one family spends on DoorDash every month. Yeah. I'm like, it's, no, it's I lot. will uh, go get it myself. Yeah. Let's see. I think that's why it's not as prevalent in smaller towns because it takes five minutes that's right to go get your food versus somewhere like bigger cities it's like okay i don't have an hour to drive to go quick go get a quick meal Mm. oh makes sense i mean i do maybe i do have an hour but that's my entire lunch break you know i wouldn't have time to eat it all right let me is this true camping where you spend a small fortune to live like a homeless person yes true that's true okay we actually have that picture in our camper (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it's, tr- it's true. So much money and so much time. Okay. Uh, project manager. Okay. Because miracle worker isn't an official job title. True. Mm-hmm. That's true. Okay. Measure once, cuss twice. True. True. <laughs> <laughs> Measure twice, cuss three times. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last one, is, is this true? This, it's a song. If you're happy and you know it, 
It's your meds. I don't know. No, I'd say I that's like false. That that's false. Okay. False. Well, good. What's going on? Oh. Well, we're getting ready for Bulldog Breakfast uh, Monday. Yes. We is, are. It, is it too late to sign up? I know yesterday not was uh, yeah. kind of sort, so it's not too late. We'll still take it. Good. Yeah. Good. Hey, I wanted to backtrack. Our very own Jessica got first <laughs> place at the Eddy County Fair for pecan recipe. You did. You well, you said you were going to enter. She won. Uh-huh. And you won. The whole thing. Grand champion. <laughs> uh, $1,200. <laughs> did it? My cake went for $1,200. So you put it in the auction. Carrot uh-huh. cake from scratch. Yep. Wow. Well, congratulations. Thanks. Thank you. How much wine did that buy? <laughs> uh, it all went to... FFA and yeah. 4-H and oh, so you t- you well the I haven't gotten my 500 yet. Oh, she okay. got 500. They got 1200. They got yeah. 1200. Okay, so I haven't how bought much my wine. Did the wine <laughs> enough? <laughs> buy a couple cases of wine, <laughs> depending Depends on how on. what kind you get. Yeah, <laughs> there's a song they play on the country radio. There's a hole in the bottle of my wine, or the I wine. love that song. I Sing thought I thought maybe you had yes. heard that song before. I've and I got to see Kelsey Ballerini in concert. Okay. Who oh. sings that song? She's so good. Okay. I watched the Shania Twain documentary on Netflix, and I think she was in it a lot. Kelsey oh. Ballerini. I was like, who is this girl? She's real cute. Mm. Anyhow, you know, I, I, we went to a Talladega NASCAR race years ago, and it was people. I was people watching. I like watching people, and um, yeah. there there were people that had their coolers, and there were people that had their cups and stuff like that and there was one lady walking around with her box of wine Mm -hmm. that she had affixed a shoulder strap to so she had a box of wine that she had on her with like a little almost like a camel camel back back thing yeah Yeah. very thirsty that's that's, that's a classy NASCAR fan right there was it white? the box was I don't know what the wine was well there's only one white box that's why I tell people steer clear of the white one (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Which is why the other day when we talked about don't get the white box, mm-hmm. that's why your friend on 930 Zoom, mm-hmm. Aaron, yeah, that's why he had a box of Franzi on his page. It's <laughs> the white one. <laughs> he knew. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. What? Uh, Bulldog Fair breakfast. last week. So congratulations mm-hmm. on the cake. Yeah. Well, um, thanks. The fair last week was pretty awesome. A lot of people there. Yeah. yeah. We all three entered. Yeah. And Haley won with uh, her Pecan chocolate chip cookies. Her, okay. her and Kaylin made those together. Okay. Um, and that brought in some good money. And then she also made, uh, her and Finley made yeah. a really yummy carrot, uh, carrot cake. Great grandma's banana nut bread. Yes, thank okay. you. Okay. Not carrot cake. And The um, nuts being pecan. Yes, sir. Okay. We all used Chase Pecans, I think. Did, yes, did you? Okay, did. yeah. We all used our fun local Chase Pecans here in our T-shirts. Did they so. know you went out into the field to get no, them? we had them. Oh, okay. We get them. We had them. We paid good money. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that was really fun. And I, they had 33 entries. Mm-hmm. Um, it brought in a good chunk of money. And it all, like she said earlier, it goes back to F4H and FFA. So it was a really fun way to support the community. Have fun with our kiddos mm-hmm. and bake and do something cute and have a little quality time and then give yeah. back. Yeah. Exactly. So did you uh, wander around the fairgrounds and eat any fair food? Yes. Yes. What was the best fair food that you came across? We got Berea tacos from Taco Pita. Taco Pita. Okay. And they were fantastic. What kind of tacos? Berea. B-I-R-R-I-A. What is Berea? We're not sure. I do. <laughs> I've made them. So it's I'm really good. Sure. Um, they're, they are a labor of love. Uh-huh. I've made, we've made them at my house. We, we want to do it again for like football Sunday because um, it is, it's a long process. There's two different kinds of meats in your crock pot or pressure cooker or whatever you use. Um, and it's all these ingredients that go into it. Um, of course, it's spices, red chili, onion, garlic, all the things. And you cook all of that until it just shreds easy. Mm-hmm. Well, then you um, take the juice from that and it's like kind of a red gravy sauce or whatever. Mm-hmm. And you put your corn... Tor- so then you get your blackstone flat top ready. And you dip your corn tortilla in the juice, put it on the blackstone, add some cheese, dip another one, and make a little quesadilla. Okay. That becomes your taco shell. 
That's the taco shell. Yes. Mm -hmm. So once that's done on both sides, then you fold it in half and put your meat inside and add wow. all your garnishments. Delicious. That sounds wonderful. It's so good, but like I said, labor of love for sure because okay. it's, it's a process. So if you order it from a taco truck, just know that a lot goes into it. Okay. Yeah. We yeah. also got some tea uh -huh. from Wild West Sodas. Yep. That's good. It's and we good. got, I got ribbon fries from another one of them. Mm -hmm. Those are always really yummy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got <laughs> roasted corn. Duh. That's always a fair favorite. <laughs> I saw a bunch of people walking out those turkey legs yeah. from yeah. the barbecue places. See, I kind of had to avoid most of the fair food because I have like a temporary crown. Oh. Ooh. And so I can't, <clears throat> I don't want to chew gum. I don't want to eat anything that's yeah. going to cause a problem up there. So. so are you on like soup and smoothies or no, no, not I'll, that I, extensive? Not that extensive, okay. but I'm, you know, fair food I'm gonna next crack time. something you know maybe so, next time yeah so we'll, I don't know but it may be Funnel those tacos cake? I could probably have the tacos just chew on the other side there you go chew on the other side <laughs> yeah, yeah this side of the food no, no of your mouth, mouth. <laughs> <laughs> funnel cake oh i didn't get a i saw a lot cake. of people walking around with funnel cakes yeah mm. i missed that i was sad i was really hoping my son would want one because then i could steal a bite but he said no <laughs> you want a funnel cake don't you yeah <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work did it no he's like mom here's a here's a research is. question i don't know what the answer is you may or may not know the answer but we might get one in the next few days which came first the beignet beignet or the sopapilla So we'll Which came first that. in America? Yes, <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll qualify that. Yeah, okay. yeah. Because I'm assuming they were in their respective countries first. But which one sure. came first in America, the beignet or the sopapilla? Do we know the answer? Like, if I, I don't know the oh. answer. I was just kind of curious as to. Can we uh, Google this? I know. I don't sure. know. I would say the, the beignet, break? but I want to say sopapilla because I'm from this side of the country. But yeah. I don't know. Isn't there that? place in new orleans that mm -hmm. is just known for is on the movie mm -hmm. the cute chef movie i'm gonna say that thing the beignet yeah yeah the beignet. i think it yeah. was too because i think the beignet comes from the french because the name beignet and then of course sopapilla comes from either spain or mexico and yeah from, but uh you know which one came to america first to be just curiosity the the beignets are smaller kind of like one? the have you had, have y'all had them? I have. Beignets? Haven't. Yeah. We used to live in Mississippi. We'd go so down yes. to French Quarter. The answer Never is heard of yes. it. We went to Cafe Du Monde. Oh, yes. Whoa. They had, I go they had uh, three things on the menu. And the menu's on the side of the napkin thing on the table. Beignets, coffee, milk. Nice. Wow. That's it. They're pretty proud. Yeah. Cool. That's, that's all they have. But uh, but then you come out to New Mexico. We move out to New Mexico. We go to La Fonda or whatever. And say, would you like sopapillas? And they bring them out. And it's like, well, that's just a giant beignet hmm. with honey instead of. Really, they do taste the same. Well, they're they're very similar. That's I, cool. Yeah. Huh. So what goes on a beignet? Powdered sugar. Powdered sugar. Yeah. Well, and we do that too. Yeah. Some that's places exactly. do that. Yeah. Exactly. And then, you, like get the, and then you get the mini, you get the mini you get the mini sopapillas over here at La Fonda, yeah. and that's just like almost like getting beignets. Interesting. And then you get the honey butter, and uh, but the coffee's different because in New Orleans they have um, coffee with chicory. <laughs> <laughs> What's chicory? It's a spice oh. that they uh, flavor the coffee with. Interesting. Those Cajuns. Yeah, I don't really like Cajun food all that much. Yeah. Cool. All right. Enough of that. Uh, let's take a break. And we'll chamber come back and we'll have more, more chamber stuff, chamber actual stuff. chamber stuff. Yes. Instead of just Q&A. And uh, <laughs> we'll be back in just a minute. Now for a Pecos Valley.